some more. Well, you you don't really have to, cause people don't really afford you that luxury in life either. They yeah. they they come in at verse twenty, and they want to tell you that they know you and your walk and your salvific grace that God afforded you to come here, but don't want to listen to the rest of your story. You don't get to move on further. And we go down the outline in Joshua chapter twenty four. Uh, 1 through, what, 15, where God is laying out his resume of not, not trying to convince you, but, but, but showing him something that you already ought to. You, you, you ought to know his goodness and his grace. Um, Joshua said, let me lay out the reminder for you um, that the first calling came to Abraham, right? Um, Abraham uh, was old, but he was given a promise. And God fulfilled the promise over Abraham's life. The only way Abraham could receive the promise was that his forefather Noah uh, kept his obligation to the assignment, fulfilled it, built the ark, and came over the flood that God gave them. He came through it. And he said to him, he said, I, I want you to know the outline of your history so that you can understand how important your calling is to your destiny. Now, I'm not talking about going beyond 24. I'm talking about staying right here where they said that you would be, where they, would, where they doubted you and did not think you would go further, where you thought that you would have died and gave up long time ago, but you came here. I'm at verse 20. He said, we've arrived here. That's what Joshua said. We've arrived here. Now that we're here, let's talk about how we got here. So Abraham received a promise after Noah was faithful to the assignment. Abraham had a son. His name was Isaac. <laughs> Isaac and Isaac had children who were Jacob. Hmm? I can't I can't hear nobody. When when Jacob came, he said God promised them a particular land. But they decided to go to Egypt. But God was with them even while they were in Egypt. Sold themselves as slaves and began to work under bondage. But God delivered them out of that. He said, I want you to know this today. That I know things didn't go your way. They didn't go the way that I spoke over your life, over your fathers, or your futures. Listen to me now. Yeah. So I know that they didn't go the way that you thought that they did. But every trial, test, and situation you found yourself in, didn't I deliver you out of it? Yeah. He said, you faced the Amorites. I killed them. Shh, good God. He said, you came to the land that I promised not you, but your forefathers that they decided not to walk into. And the people who were rightfully living there, staying there, had right to be there. What did I do to them? I drove them out. Them that would not leave, I killed them. So the, the land wasn't even yours. It rightfully belonged to somebody else. But because you walked up on it. Yeah. God, God said that it's not even that the people did anything wrong. It's not that the people did anything wrong. But because you wanted it. I gave it to you because you wanted it. I evicted them out of it, put them away from it. I took it back from them and gave it to you. That's just a short list of all the victories that I provided you through. We're not talking about just the Red Sea. We're not, we're not talking about how 
I took every firstborn child, but I spared yours. We're not talking about them that the calling came at before who would have been more determined and more consecrated and understanding of what I wanted them to do and still did it if they had been prepared for it or not. What I'm telling you is that there were people who were way more faithful than you But for some reason, it's on me to keep delivering you. Yeah. This is just a short list of a reminder of how good I've been to you. And Joshua stands up and says, if it seems evil, oh God, to serve the Lord, yeah. then maybe you ought to choose today whom ye going to serve. He said, if you serve the gods that your father served, catch it, they didn't make it because we left them on the other side of the flood. They drowned in it. Goodness. Leave me alone. He said, if, if you want to serve Baal and any other god, uh, 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 let me ask you, what side of the flood did they end on? Who 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 is it today uh, that you gonna serve? Because everything before me drowned at the hand of me, <laughs> and 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 God is wondering on today and yesterday, and He's trying to find out for tomorrow. Do you think it's evil to serve the Lord? Joshua said, as for me, in my house, I think we'll serve him. Hey, what's wrong with him? Is he okay? Want to go check on them or? Yeah. Okay. I like the box and things like Jaden. I thought it liked it. It's like he's been watching the show and he'll pretend yeah. that he has to do this and he's not. But when he turned around, that's when I saw like he was actually trying to spit it out. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay. 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 Um. Yeah, he, he's he's asking um, for your worship location and for your praise yeah. position. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm, "I'm I'm trying to find out what side of praise are you standing on." I said, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find out what side of God is good. Our God has been good. Do you stand on the day? You, you, you're either on, I see where he brought me. Or I see where he's carrying me. Either that I see what he's done for me, 
So I know he ain't have to do it for me. At the crossroads and the verge between. God, you didn't have to, but you did. And you ain't got to. But I see you doing it anyway. He said that there were people who deserve to be in your space. But because you just walked into the room, I took them out of position. So just in case you wanted it, you could have it. And you mean to tell me That a God like that you won't serve? Joshua set status for his entire house. Did you catch that though? He said, yeah. me and my house. But, but he just outlined before you how he got the house. Did... Did you did you catch it? He, he said he said be, be, before the flood we ain't have no house, and 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 so and so God sent the pandemic. I mean the flood, so 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 that my great 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 granddaddy could build it, uh, not the house but the boat that carried us over it, and when we came to the place of not knowing if God was gonna land it, uh, ship it, or just kill it, God set it on the mountain and we came off of it. He said when he came off, they didn't have no kids. So what he did was he spoke to my great great granddaddy and told him that he gonna have a baby. And though it was unlikely, he still had it. When he had it, he said he had two brothers, not not a Abraham's son, uh, a a Abraham's son, son. And 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 so when Isaac had Jacob, uh, Jacob went down to Israel. Um, was where he was supposed to, but God called him to move somebody somewhere else and go against the grain. So Joseph went to Egypt. Are you hearing me? When 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 he went there, God wasn't even from there. Didn't even have any any people there. But because they went there, God visited. When when you come to the place where God is bringing them out of Egypt, that's when. Joshua says, that's when he gave me the house. <laughs> he, gave, he gave me the house on land I did not buy. That's what he said. Oh, God. He, he, he built the house out of wood he did not own. You hear nobody? He said, all, all that you see before you today is something that the Lord gave me in spite of me that I wasn't supposed to have anyway. So I, I, I ain't even supposed to be here. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I was supposed to die on the other side, but but see, the assignment is so deep for where you are right now. You have to know your path of what God took to bring you to this space. It's not by happenstance, nor is it by mistake that you're here. But you're here because God purposed this time, this point, this pivot in your reality right now in your timeline for you to be here. That's what he said. It's not a mistake, bro. You mean to tell me after everything it took to get the house that I'm not going to make the house Worship God. Just the people in the house. That's good. We be worried about the people. And Joshua said, no, today I'm talking to the house. Yeah, I can't hear nobody. You, you, you got to stop talking to people. And start talking to the environment of the house that the people live in. You see, you, you be going through stuff and it's not really even you, it's just the house. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the house today. 
that this is going to be the house of the Lord. I'm, I'm speaking to the house today. Yeah, 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 that the house will remain stable, that it won't be a kingdom divided against itself, that it shall stand. Uh, that every word God spoke to me is going to happen in this house under this roof. <laughs> that no no, no storm or, or attack, that no fight will touch the house. You praying for the people. Joshua said, y'all keep on fighting with people, struggling with people. You keep on going through it with people and you always be going through it with people. But when you understand as for me and my house, I'm putting the house on notice today. That's, that's, that's what God did. He, he didn't bless the people. He blessed the boat. And Joshua called it. He said, if if God ordained for the ark to be blessed and bring us over it, then I know if I pray over my house that God will bring us through this too. And God, God, God will be a shelter. He said that they put the blood from the lamb, not on the people. Good God. Where they put it? On the house. I'm anointing my household today that, that if everything in it shall prosper because my house is in order. That's what the Bible says. It didn't say get your life. It didn't say get your soul. It said get your house. Oh, good God. You, you, you got to un understand that my body is a temple of the Lord God and my temple resides in the house. And that's why Jesus said in my father's I said, the house has many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. But Joshua outlines there is a significance, not in the house of Israel, not a house of Egypt. But there is a significance in my house. But I'm, 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 I'm speaking to the house today. I'm speaking to the house that we're going to overcome and come out. I'm speaking to the house that we're going to come up and be all right. I'm speaking to the house that it shall be paid clean and clear that the deeds going to belong in my hand. I'm speaking to the house today that it's going to prosper. Oh God, that it will not fail, that it's going to overcome, that it'll never know a day of lights off. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the house today that everything that enters, if it entered sick, it'll leave well. I'm, I'm speaking to the house today. That anything damaged, that it is it's repaired. I'm talking about anything under the house. In the house. It comes in contact with the house. There's a blessing in my house. That's why I said you have to be careful of the company because it'll corrupt the house. That's it. But in Nehemiah, no, 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 in, um, no, 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 um, the one with tithe and offering is um chapter three said um but bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse mm -hmm. he said that there may be meat in my house and prove me wherein saith the lord of hosts if I would not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out such a blessing, there will not be room enough to receive it. Thank you. And I'm talking to anybody today that knows that when you bring it and give it to God, he said, I'm not opening up the doors. I'm taking the roof off and making a window. I'm about to make it rain all up and through this. You, 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 
you got to know that the blessing is going to be big enough that it's going to fill the house. Joshua said, how, how are we going to respond to what God did in this house? That's good. That's good. See, if if the house serves him, then then the house has the responsibility of keeping it sacred to him. Yeah. So so I I know it's a habit, but you can't smoke in here. Mm. Yeah, I I I, I I know what we did in the apartment, but you can't watch that in here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know you by yourself, but the house begins to talk to you when you all by yourself. No, no, no. I, I know. I know what you do, bro, but you, you can't bring that in here. It may have been good for where you were. Is on the other side of the flood. But I'm talking to anybody that knows on this side. That the house has the responsibility. Yeah. Of keeping it sacred. Yeah. And that's why you lose stuff. That's good, Jeremiah. That's, that's why you lose stuff. Because if the environment. Is pledged to be a servant. Yep. If you step out of line. Mm -hmm. You get evicted. Yep. So you can fool people on the outside. Dressing and posted goods so it look alright on Facebook. But the house knows. What happens behind closed doors. That's why it ain't grown. That's why you didn't get it. That's why it didn't come to pass. I can't hear nobody. It's the house. It's pledged. So there's something that's living in it. That's living different than the first prayer it said over it when they moved when they moved in it. So we're living contrary to the promise over it, but the house isn't going to change. So you get evicted. House said, I'm sick of it. House said, I'm not putting up with it. I said, somebody's getting evicted, but I'm staying because I'm a servant. Yep. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And me and the house. Mm. Mm. I hear you. See that 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 only that don't only just go for the house. But see you 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 see the steps and the years and the timeline that God did to to, to get him the house. But 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 he said, but see you can't just apply that to the house because I gave you the car too. And 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 that's and that's why you lose stuff because you end up doing stuff in something that's already uh, belonged to God that God just lets you use. But when you misuse it, then somebody has to get evicted. And 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 so and so since you're living in it, what 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 I'll do is just repo it because at the end of the day, bro, you did not keep the promise that you spoke over you and the car too. So something lives contrary. So 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 what God does is removes the enemy. 
But when the enemy is you, God serves you eviction papers too. That's why Joshua said, if you think it's evil, to serve him. Don't, don't tell me how you think it is. But, but choose some other God because I don't know who else to go to. I don't know what else to do, bro. So I serve him. Because I don't want to lose him.